Hey guys, me and John in the workshop, in the dream. We've got loads of cars in, we've got... Up up there. Mine, ready for the diff lock. Pips. And then some posh shiny lights going on outside, and Alex is. Hi Alex! So we're going to do a the diff lock. Um, we've got a plate on the moment, we've, the old one's been took off a while ago. Um, so yeah, we'll do a bit of demo on how to take it off and put it on and all that lot. Right, so this is the adapter plate I made, well not adapter plate, blanking plate I made for it. Um, nothing much, just a bit of plate and the old spindle inside it and sealed up. Just so when you take your actuator off, you're not going to you know, lose your oil and you can still drive it. So yeah, that's what I made a while ago. So we'll, we'll whip this off, get this off. Obviously, it's already been loosened. <laughs> I do have a ratchet and a socket next to you. Oh, have you got a ratchet and a socket? <laughs> Prattling about here. He loves so, a spanner. Yeah, I do. I do like spanners. He loves, it. He loves a spanner. Everyone calls me weird, but I just love spanners. So yeah, I don't, I don't always can tell, but there's a lot of washers on here. And that, that's just to allow the long bolts. Obviously, it's only a temporary because, yeah, obviously, you, you know, until you, until you get your diff lock actuator, because they're not cheap. So I'll pull this one out. This one normally comes oil out and John's not got us a, a drip tray, so we're gonna lose oil. Let's get a drip tray. One drip tray. Here we go. You ready? Yeah, man. Right, so we've got the drip tray. They all, these are 12 mil, by the way. They're 12 mil, just so, so you know. So you'll lose a bit of oil, so you need a tray. You um, should get oil coming out. That means there's enough <laughs> in it in the first place. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point, yeah. Do not lose them bolts, so I have a big, big no-no if you lose them. So this should just, just pop out. This has not been off, so a bit of persuasion. There we go. There it is. There's, there's the adapter plate. So I've just literally welded up, welded up the end of the old one, so then it doesn't move. So you can just literally have it either unlocked or locked, whichever you want. Um, if anyone wants one, um, I could probably knock one up for you if you, you know, if you get me the old shaft or something, so we can sort some out. Uh, so yeah, so. Still a bit minging. We put some holomar on it so it didn't leak her out. So we'll get all this cleaned up. Nice clean up. Um, and then we'll head for putting the new one in. While uh, while Phil's ratting around, if you watch the Isle of Man, uh, the Isle of Man video, um, I said that I didn't go because I'm waiting for me uh, my lift to come. So that's all. Our Wales trip. So we went for the terrain tamers. Some new uh, anti roll bar drop links on there as well. Longer ones are better if you can get them. I think some people put the front on the back. Here's the train servers at the front. They went on really easy. We just paid a little bit of extra money as well to uh, to have them come built up. So, so all in all, we've got the full lift, full suspension lift, and we've also got oh, these body lift as well. So these are poly bushes now, they used to be poly blocks and with that you also get um, for your steering big alley block. So that's how much lift you're gonna get from your body lift. They're looking good, they went on really nice, it feels really comfy to drive, obviously the tracking will have to be done. Um, but yeah Keep going. Right, we're ready. Safety goggles. Safety first. Yeah, especially using one of these. Always need protection. It's a bit a bit rough, but it does a nice job. It does a nice job. Oh. To finish it off, so yeah. Oh. This is where you get oil in your face. So you just chuck a old bolt in for now. Watch your eyes, cameraman. There's the bolt. Do you want to get covered in oil? Oh, I'm not bothered. a bit cleaner, that'll do, there's no 
rusty lumps on it. What we want. Good trick of mine. A bit of emery paper. Use your oil, it's already on. And just clean the faces off. So you know they're a good seal. You can see. And you guarantee a nice good seal. Right, so we've got old diff lock. As you can see, it's um, yeah, we've lost the other bit to it. God knows where it is. We took it off a while ago. Um, but yeah, if you look inside, they seize up, they seize up on that side there. So basically inside there is where the shaft goes, and that just seizes solid. So because it's aluminium and then steel, it just it just don't work, especially when they get water in there. Um, so yeah, this is scrap pretty much. Um, I don't know where the piece has gone. So then, then we have the new one. Well, the new one from KS International. Again, top quality part. This is genuine as well, genuine part. Just got to remember though, you, you can't catch that O-ring, whatever you do. If you, if you nip that or anything when you put it in, you will damage it and it will leak oil. So we don't want to do that. So a little bit of grease on there makes a difference or, or silicone will be better. Yeah, let's get it on. Oh, I see. Put that in, then put the blue stuff on, then. Yeah. yeah. Phil's top tip here. So, that bottom stud, obviously it's leaking oil, but if you clean it all up and get the uh, the nut off the end of it, tighten it, put a little tad bit of Loctite in it, put it back in, tighten it up as tight as you can with hand tight, that's all it needs. The oil coming out so you can get a bit of uh, a bit of holomar, or a bit of sealant around here so it helps seal because you don't want to leak your diff, do you? Yeah, Phil's top tip. Right, so we're ready to get the diff lock on. So, a bit of holomar, only a little bit though. So, this this is not silicon by the way, before you ask, it's uh, a gasket making stuff. Put a tiny bit on, doesn't need a lot. Nice bit, just around the bits where you know it's gonna, it could potentially. My silicon skills are terrible, just so you know. Again, never overdo silicon. Well, not silicon, but anything. Otherwise, it can cause it to uh, like pressure so it won't seal properly. So, bet you don't get any inside. Just a light coat, that'll do. A bit on the top there. Don't need a lot of this stuff, it's really good. And then there's a trick as well. Obviously, you just put a little bit of the old gear on. You dip your finger in it. Just put that round on the seal. I'll probably put too much on there as a wreck. Just enough just to help it in, yeah? Right. Not the tree. Alright, and a gentle gentle shove hopefully because of the blanking plate it would have kept it in line there you go there you go seated nicely up in the tap now get your bottom bolt on first so that's on expanse I bet you're wondering why I'm working on the floor when I've got a two post ramp there well, there's another collie on there that needs a lot of work, one of my mates, so yeah, unfortunately, we'll work on the floor. And normally everyone does work on the floor, because not everyone has a ramp, do they? So, yeah, sometimes it's going to compromise, make sure you put this one in the right one. Is that one. I've left the nut on that one because it doesn't really matter. And normally the, these are a pain to get out, so when, so when they are rotten, my trick is again, if you move all the wires first in your pipes, get a little little burning torch off Amazon or something, a little one, and um, yeah, just a slight heat just around around like the areas around here, and like say around the top one, a bit of heat, and it honestly it makes the job so much easier. Um, don't over tighten these, whatever you do, just 
Nothing, they don't need, they don't need to be dead tight. It's about 10 newton meters, that. <laughs> Just about, a bit more, maybe, maybe 11. Two finger tight. Two finger tight, that's it. Right, job's done. Happy? Happy. Let's have a look at the dash. So another little tip when you're installing these, uh, when we first fitted it before, um, it wouldn't engage. Um, so that means that there's a rack what goes across and it's got a um, splines on it, just like a steering rack. And basically that's got to be in the right position for this when it slots in. Otherwise it won't, it'll have a not go far enough or it'll go too far um, or not enough like. So what we've got to do is pull it out and just get a pick get a pick and just just move the gear over so pull it out move the gear over a little bit put it back in test it to see if it goes in we had it going in but then it won't go out um, so we just moved it back a tooth again and then shoved it back in um, and now it's it goes in and goes out I'll get um, I'll get John to uh, to turn it on in the cab so there you go wheels turning there huh? all right so when you engage it you'll hear it ready Nice little electric noise that dead satisfying that I want a good clunk. So that, that's in. So Put now that wheel. That's it now. I can't move it now because it's locked. Working a treat. And you've got the solid light on the dash as well. So obviously when it's flashing that means it's not going in. And but sometimes your um your switch on the top, which is in here, um that can fail as well. So if you do fit one of these, just make sure that's working. Um I think I'll be able to get the part number for them as well because I think the mega deer from Toyota. Um, but yeah, so look, John, dis disengage it. Oh, that, that, that was nice, isn't it? I love that sound. And now look, now it's free. I can turn it. Lovely job. Oh yeah. Crap. Another one you need to check. Make sure your breather is breathing. See that one's a bit of rubbish in it. Told you I like my spanners. <laughs> It'd have been done by now. Though. I'm just lazy, I can't be asked <laughs> getting a rat shit. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, another thing with a breather, uh, with ease, um obviously it needs to breathe and obviously if you're going through water and stuff. I definitely 100% recommend you fit in an extended breather pipe um, to the front or somewhere higher so then you don't you don't end up filling it with water because obviously yeah if you go through water it's just going to fill it with water in it so that's like yeah it's not going to last five minutes so that's a job you've got to do. It's not a big job to change um, a couple of bolts you need a drip tray a jack a um, bit of seal and a bit of emery paper and, and it's done you've got a rear locker again um, so there's pros and cons really to to having her and having factory um, but again because these are such a good price from KS it, you you price up a compressor and price up oil pipes and fitting it and wiring and everything it's going to be probably dearer the other way um, but obviously, if you want a compressor for your tyres and also, like I've got, I've got a front air locker on my ALB on the front, and I've got a, an air actuator on the back and air other bits. So it, it, for me, it's it's worthwhile having the air actuator. Um, but yeah, so yeah, get yourself to KS if you want one, and get one of these. But percent um, discount if you like, share, yeah. subscribe, send us a message. Discount. Um, yeah, and we're going to try it out, see how, how smooth it works and stuff like that. There go, got a 12 month warranty as well, so... Yeah, that's another bonus, 12 month warranty, so, you know, if anything does okay, go yeah, wrong so look with after it, us with that, and um, that's, we should be okay. Yeah, so... Yeah, right, I think we should get the... Uh, it's time to get the breather on, the breather on, the uh, the wiring on. Yeah, we'll just probably have to clean the plug out, because it's probably full of muck, because we never covered it up. Screwboy error. Get it clipped on. There we go, nice and clipped on. There's the bracket. And then, there's a breather pipe somewhere. I'm supposed to be good at this. 
I'm struggling. You need two hands. I need three hands. <laughs> I need three hands and I need a ramp. Uh, and then that's your breather pipe, just slots in that plastic pipe. It only goes to just above here, look, so. Just goes up there. So again, if you're gonna go through water, I advise to put an extension breather line on it. But if you go through water, you have breathers on anyway. Oh crap, I just spilt the oil. <laughs> Did you get that? Yeah, got that. Good. So this is just like a bit of a wax oil. Again, it'll just help it, you know. Especially with the stuff we do. Where the places where we go, this will be on the water, this thing. On the water, in mud, also. So, might as well make it last a bit longer. It's cracking stuff, this as well. Beautiful. Oh, she's loose. 24 mil, that by the way. Right, can you get me the oil syringe? Huh? You can indeed. So this makes the job so much easier. I have got a big one as well, but oh, it, doesn't yeah. need, it doesn't need that much oil. So well, this is uh, 8090 to foil. You've got to use the uh, the 1890 slip for the other for the LSD one, so but you can put LSD oil in a normal axle. That'll do. John won't do it, so I'm going to. Something rarely seen this. <laughs> this is tidying up, but what he means is he's moving it from the floor. To the bench. That's what you call John moves it from the bench to the toolbox. 